one of the most debated things in the cybersecurity industry is what is the best path towards a cybersecurity career. Some people advocate for college, some people advocate for certification, some people advocate for experience all around. This video is going to be about different paths towards the cybersecurity career, but specifically college and certifications. What is up guys, my name is Day and I talk a lot about cybersecurity. Today we're going to be talking about certifications and college education. But before I get into the video, if you like my content and you like this video, please make sure to subscribe and to like the video, it really helps with the channel. Now, let's get into the video. Taking the college path in order to get a career in cybersecurity is one of the most popular ways students graduating high school go right ahead into college and embark on four year degrees in different majors, including computer science, cybersecurity, information technology, um, just for the end goal of you know ending up in the cybersecurity industry. And cybersecurity covers a really, really wide array of things and different majors could be beneficial or could be taken in order to work towards a cybersecurity career. And all of these majors have their respective advantages and disadvantages, but altogether, these majors provide you a really, really solid fundamental, solid foundation for what you would be doing in the real world. A lot of what you will be learning is theoretical, really conceptual, and except you go to a really good college where they make sure that you apply all these concepts and theories through hands-on experience, most of what you'll be doing is just studying for your class and passing your class, and that is not really a great way to learn. A really great way to learn is doing that, of course, learning the theory and the conceptual stuff, but at the same time, applying what you learn. And I think that's, a, that's something that a lot of colleges lack. Now, in terms of college education, in choosing a major, there are several things to consider. And one of those things is the curriculum. Over the last couple of years, cybersecurity has become a really, really major buzzword. And that means, Colleges are pumping out new degrees because it's a really, really fast growing industry. That means these degrees are really new, relatively new, because it's a great way for them to make money as people are really, really pivot into this field. So they start offering these degrees. And the, the, the bad thing about that is sometimes these degrees are not even well thought out or well planned out. They're just starting off and the students that, are, that take these degrees end up being the test subjects and you don't want to fall prey for that. When you're looking to get a cybersecurity degree, make sure that the curriculum is a good curriculum where they teach you the things you will need um, to, for a successful career. And if possible, make sure that they also incorporate hands-on learning in the degree programs so that as, as much as you're learning, these theories and these different concepts, you're also able to apply all of these concepts. Another thing to look out for with degrees is some degree plans offer programs where as you are taking degrees, you're also getting certifications in relation to your degree. So you're getting the credits that work towards your degree. And at the same time, you're learning the material for specific certification. So I know that network, some networking degrees um, have you take the Network Plus, CCNA, CCNP, or whatever related networking certifications. And cybersecurity certifications might have you take the Security Plus, CISSP, and just certifications relating to the field um, or the major you're working towards. And that, I think that's a really, really great way to go because you're getting the best of both worlds. So that's something to look out for. Another thing, another major consideration in terms of college is money. 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 And we know the college is really expensive. You're spending thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars hundreds of thousands of dollars on your college education. And I think a really, really great way to offset that a little bit is starting through community colleges. I think community colleges are very, 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 very underrated. And um, this is because different people have their, you know, pretty much niches about them. But I believe community colleges, and I know firsthand that community colleges are a really, really great way to start if you're pursuing a cybersecurity career because those first two years, you're learning 
the important concepts you need for a successful career. And at the same time, some of these community colleges offer programs, like I mentioned earlier, on where you're able to take certifications. And that's a really great, great way to go. Um, if you're someone who is seeking to just get an associate's degree, it's a really great way to go because um, after your two year, you have enough to start in the workforce. And if you eventually go ahead and get your bachelor's degree, you would have offset a lot of money from the first two years and you wouldn't have to pay like all that much money all through your four year program. So that's just some, that is something to think about and really consider. Another thing about college is internships. And one of the major requirements for several internships is for you to be enrolled in the college program. And if you're not enrolled in a, college, in a, in a bachelor's program or master's program, you probably do not qualify for certain internships. Um, I'm not saying that you cannot get internships without a college education. I'm just simply saying that one of the major requirements for getting this, uh, an internship is for you to be currently pursuing a college degree. So that's something to think about because if you're going the college route, you already tick a box pretty much. You take the box of pursuing a college program. And at the same time, you're taking, reg you're taking the classes that are related to what you would be um, applying in the industry in real life and that's a really great way to go because ultimately having experience while you're in college is a really great way to go because um, a lot of times companies are seeking fresh graduates with four or five years of experience and how do you expect graduates to have four or five years, five years of experience when they're just getting out of college. But a great way to offset that amount of time is, you know, through internships. And I guess you satisfy that a little bit, but um, companies, please um, be realistic with the job requirements. My final point about college is college helps you build your network because you meet, get to meet people. You never know whether, where that takes you. And other things about college is, you know, college colleges have different career programs where um, different alumni come and recruit students for companies they work for, like I said earlier on. And yeah, your network is your net worth. So build your network while you're in college and meet people, go on different um, meetups. I know it's harder right now because of the pandemic, but there are several virtual meetups and try to attend them, meet people, uh, connect with them and just build your network all around. You never know where that would take you. People you know, might get you into doors that your resume might not get in, get you into. That's something to really um, consider. Just make sure to connect with people and grow your network. I also have a video where I talk about different college degrees and um, things you should look out for when you're trying to choose a college degree and different things you can expect from a college degree. So I'll leave a link to it somewhere up here. So to the next part of the video. All right, so as you guys know, over the last couple of months, I have taken a couple of certifications. So I have a good amount of knowledge in terms of certifications. Um, I took the A+, plus, Network+, plus, and Security+. Plus. And if you've not seen the videos for that, of course, I'll leave a link to them in a card up here. I took all of these, I took all of these certifications because I wanted to learn. And for me, certifications are fun to study for. But one thing to keep in mind is you do not want to be a certification chaser. So you don't want to keep accumulating certifications without getting relevant experience. So like because you want to work in cybersecurity, then you start getting all these certifications. You get um, A+, plus, Network+. Plus. Um, I mean, the, the most popular one for cybersecurity is Security+. Plus. So you get Security+, plus, you get the CYSA+, plus, you get the CISSP, and you just accumulate your certifications. Um, I think when you've gotten like a couple of certifications, try to start gaining relevant experience in the industry that you, in the area you're trying to work in before going towards more certifications. Then you can actually look at like job, if you're trying to apply for a job, you can look at the job descriptions or for a specific um, area of um, cybersecurity, if you're trying to get in that area and it requires a specific certification, then you can pursue that. Uh, you just don't want to um, acquire a bunch of certifications and not start getting experience. To the next part, um, the first good thing about certifications is money. Um, relatively, they could be expensive, but in comparison with a college degree, they're cheap, okay? So you're spending like 
couple hundred of dollars um maybe for higher or more advanced certifications you're spending a couple of thousands of dollars and you know you only pay for that once except if you have to renew it every now and then but compared to a college degree you're just spending that money that really that little amount of money and you're getting your money's worth because um a lot of times the roi or the return of investment of certifications could be really really good especially if you end up getting a job that pays a lot more than you pay for certification so it ends up being a really good investment another thing about certifications is the time you spend learning um compared to a college degree where you are doing two years or four years and um i'm not even limiting college to two or four years because some people spend much longer because you know you have to go at your pace so you might spend five years or six years uh, but in terms of certifications, you, you might spend a, a month or two months or three months or maybe six months or maybe a year. Uh, but in the grand scheme of things, the time you spend learning for the certifications, a certification is usually less than a college degree. Um, and that's one thing about certifications. You can dedicate uh, an amount of time, let's say six months, to a particular certification, get it, and then you know apply for jobs or positions where you can apply the knowledge you have gained in that certification compared to a college degree where you have to you know, spend two years, three years, four years, five years. And that's one good thing about certification. Another thing about certifications is universal acceptance. So a lot of certifications are widely accepted wherever you are in the world um, or in the United States or anywhere. Um, those certifications are universally accepted because the body that certifies you is universally accepted. So you don't have to conform to this standard or this standard. And um, that's a really good thing in comparison to a college degree because sometimes some college degrees do not um, apply in different areas of the world. And that could be a, um, that could be not so good because um, you spend this amount of time going through this degree and then you migrate to this part of the world where they tell you that your college degree is irrelevant. But a certification in a particular industry, most of the time is universally accepted. And another thing about certifications is some of them can actually be hands-on. So as much as you're learning the technical aspects, the theoretical aspects, you're also applying this knowledge. Um, um, for example, I would say the CCNA too because you actually have to um, understand the, uh, the, command, the command line and all of the Cisco commands and all of that. And for even more technical certifications like the OSCP, which is the Offensive Security Certified Professional, where you actually have a 24-hour penetration testing lab where you do a penetration test for um, different boxes and write a report for them. Those certifications provide you hands-on experience right they don't necessarily mean that you know everything about that area but it just shows that you have enough knowledge to put what you're learning into practice so that's another good thing about certifications because if you're able to put what you're learning into practice it just makes you a better professional so to end this video it's important to note that views and opinions and advice and certifications is all subjective in your decision making process just make sure that you're making decisions that relate to you, your experience, your your passion, and what you want to do. Um, don't let people pressure you into doing what you don't want to do or into not doing what you want to do because some people might tell you, oh, don't do the certification or don't go to college or you know this and that. Just make decisions based on um, you, okay? Um, look at different things, look at different possibilities and make those decisions based on what you want to do and. Uh, what you see yourself doing and another thing is look at people that are successful in the industry people that you look up to like three people four people five people and you would see certain common commonalities among them that you want to incorporate into your path and certain things you might want to take from each of these people like different different things you might want to take from them and incorporate that into your path maybe oh this person um, went to college and had the certification or does this and does that. You don't just want to follow one path or tailor your your journey towards just one path. Look at different people and look at the different experiences and try to gain something from them. I personally think that having a combination of both a college degree and certifications, it's a really, really great way and it puts you in a really 
good advantage um, for example if you're applying for a job where you already meet the criteria right you already have a college degree that is one buck stick some companies will not even look at your resume if you don't have a college degree and this is not in any way to exalt a college degree because we know that um, a lot of big tech companies have come out to say that we're not we're no longer making college degrees a requirement for um, a job we're seeing how much value college degrees hold but sometimes in some situations you might have to have a college degree to have to take a to have a position which is it's just what it is and um, having a college degree and also having certifications that combination just puts you in a really really great advantage and um, it might just be the edge um, um, that you have um, against another candidate so that's just something to think about something to put in mind in your decision making process. I hope this video was really beneficial to you. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. Let me know what you think. What do you think about certifications? What do you think about college? Um, do you think um, college is not necessary or certification is necessary? Just let me know. Leave a comment down below. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video.